Okay, today I'm going to address two games that I think would be more fun if there were more people in here because I really like them and they are pretty underrated. So the first one, as you can see as it is loading, is Secret Life RP. It is made by the same people who made the Miraculous Ladybug roleplay game if you go into it. It's actually a very cool game. Um, so the reason that Secret Life RP is so cool is because you can switch between your um, Roblox avatar, so whatever avatar you load it into, to an avatar they make in the game to be like a superhero or a supervillain. So you can literally transform. Okay, so... So as you can see at the bottom here, there is this shield icon, and it says C. So, let me get over here, and then I'll load in a superhero. Slow in my supervillain actually. Okay. Exit. Okay, so if I press Z, I should become my character. Which I think is personally very cool. And you can also go really fast while you're in superhero mode and you could double jump really high. And overall, it is just very cool. You can also have a house in this game, however, last time I was in here, I tried to enter the house, and for some reason, it wouldn't allow me back into my house. And so, as you can see, you can decorate your own person. However, in order to access some of the stuff, you need to have unlocked certain things. So, let's see if I can find something that you need to unlock. Um, so, for example, for faces, you can see how I have this face with purple eyes right now. So... If you go over, so see this, so see this icon right here? This is a, this is one of the paths that you would need to unlock it in, which I have done. So in order to access the paths, you go over to superpowers, tech tree. So this is your coins, this is your energy. You use your energy to tech tree. So, so this is, so they're themed about different things, fire, shadow, angelic, and water. So, you can unlock different powers and different abilities. Right now, I'm working on the shadow one because I looked at everything. And I'm like, oh, everything's so spooky and purple and black. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. So, I've been working on this. So, as you can see, you unlock different things. So, I have unlocked the bat core shirt, bat skirt, bat button shirt, a possessed animation. It's actually really funny. You float around and your head spins around. <laughs> Bat necklace, bat bag, bat storm. It's a transformation that I'll show you in a second. And bat wings. Bat flight, which is an ability. I'll show you abilities in a second. And the face that you could see on my character. So now, as you can see, there are different superpower abilities you can equip, like super punch, bat flight, conjure shield. And then these are different abilities that you can buy from the shop for coins. I have not really done any of those because I got one from the tech tree and the others. I was just like, yeah, okay, cool, they're there. And then these are different transformations that you can buy. When you transform, you don't need to transform the same flippy way that I just did. So then you'll tab over here to owned. Once you have them, transformations, body change, item change, and that strap. So Batstorm is the transformation that you can get in the tech tree. So to use it, it appears right here. The icon appears right here at the bottom. And then you just press C. And as you can see, my transformation is different this time. Now, as I was on the concrete, you probably couldn't tell, but there were bats swirling around me. So I'll do it again on the grass so you can tell with the bats. See, as you can see, there are bats. And then I just go like that. And then, so I don't think you can do, I don't think that the superpowers do damage to anyone, but then again, I'm in this game, rarely anyone else is in this game, and it sounds like this game is pretty dead. Which personally is pretty sad because this game is pretty cool. 
and there are pretty and there are some mini games that would work well with a lot of people like you know like one person is like a crook and another person's a police officer and the police officer has to catch the crook and personally that would be really fun but you know I can't necessarily do anything besides the races because no one else is in this game and personally I feel like this game needs a lot more attention because it is very fun but with being the only person in the server there's not that much I can do so with the abilities you can do abilities like I'm not sure how the punch works ah oh, there we go okay and then this is bat flight as you can see I am floating on a cloud of swirling bats which is very cool and then there is conjure sealed which is there we go so I now have conjured the shield in front of me and it's gone because it's only there for a second so yeah, anyway, this game is pretty cool, and there are different jobs you can do, like you can work at a pizza place, oh, and yeah, you get paychecks. I always cash out the energy. Ooh, I have enough for the next thing. Okay, so basically, I feel like this game would be a lot more fun with more people, but it is pretty fun with just me, and sometimes I see someone else in the server and I'm like, oh, cool, but for the majority, it's usually just me so I'd appreciate it if there were some more people because then you know I could do all the mini games and that would be pretty fun okay on to the next game so the next game was actually a game that sounded like it was pretty popular around like 2020 or so um I was not on Roblox at the time so I have no idea but looking at how much time it's been played, looks like it has been, it was pretty popular. So it is called Vampires vs. Slayers. I came across it and I'm like, oh, that seems like a really cool game. But I unfortunately was not able to play, be here in time to actually play it with many people. Because when I joined the server, it was the same as, as um, Secret Life, where like no one was in there. Okay, but basically it seems like the point of this game is the slayers try to kill the vampires and the vampires try to turn other people into other vampires. And I thought that would seem like a very cool game. Alright, let's go to the castle. And as you can see, I am the only person on the server, so you can, you can be a person, or you can be a vampire. Huh, hunger and sleep bites. Interesting. So you could choose to be a vampire, and then... Hmm. And then, if you're a vampire, you get the touch. Um people and then if you touch the people then they whoops I accidentally removed my hair then they um then they turn into vampires and then it's basically like you try to transform everyone what the oh okay then I guess I have a hood on um you try to transform as much people as possible And basically, it is. It, it looked like it was really fun. Unfortunately, I've not been able to fully experience it yet, and for some reason, I am stuck in this room. So. So yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, so yeah, basically, those are two games that I think. Um, well, obviously, right now this one is. This one has basically no one in it. I believe that's an NPC out there. Um, these games, I personally think that they're... Well, this one obviously isn't underrated, but the other one is underrated. Um, this one just doesn't have that many people in it anymore. Um, I guess you could call it a dead, a dead game. 
Um, but basically, I wish that there were more people in here because then I feel like I could have, I could experience these games more. So yeah, um, bye then.